Manish, tell our audience uh, who you've got and where you are right now. I am at uh, Forum Lighting, the newest member of uh, the current family. Uh, we met uh, the entire workforce here, as well as the founders, uh, Jonathan and Julie. Uh, I'm also joined here by Dan Phelan, our Chief Commercial Operations Officer, as well as Brooke Cardarella, our Chief Human Resource Officer. And yes, we are all fully vaccinated. Okay, very good. Well, welcome uh, and, and thank you for joining me this morning. So Manish, what attracted you to Forum? I think it uh, lies within the broad umbrella, uh, Randy. You and I have talked about, you know, architectural being the, the next frontier for current. I think it fits very well into that. But when we talk about Forum specifically, it's a company which has got a 60 year pedigree behind it, a deep range of expertise in all kinds of linear slots which go in into the education, healthcare, uh, as well as uh, outdoor applications with their Aqua product line. Uh, it just is a company which has over the years in architectural shape is important, form factor is important and attention to detail is important. And I, from what I have seen of them over the last five, six weeks that we have interacted, they have mastered that piece. The other part of it is they have built an ecosystem which supports this segment. You know, they, 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 the, the tagline goes is that, you know, if an architect can visualize it, they can execute it. But to do that, you need design engineers, you need a supply chain infrastructure, you've got a manufacturing as well as assembly infrastructure, which is all around custom products. So the team here and the facility here helps us execute that in entirety. Uh, Forum has a deep re range of products here. And I think we, with our footprint, with our TriGain technology, with our controls platform, with our supply chain infrastructure, will be an ideal partner for them. Anish, it's been a year since we have spoken. Why don't you tell our audience a little bit about how the year has been for you? It has been a year, Randy. What a year it was. Uh, but, you know, if I remember it right, we met uh, for the first time uh, in April last year, sometime around that. And the whole COVID thing was pretty fresh. Right. Frankly, for us, uh, you know, we were in the midst of that carve out from GE. So, yeah, sure, it was a crisis, but sure didn't feel like it because it was a crisis on top of a crisis. Uh, but, you know, at that time, I, from what, uh, from that time, I think I mentioned it to you, but what we have been focused on has been, number one was the car route. The second one was, how do we become better partners to our channel? And then the, the last one was, how do we enhance our product portfolio as we go through that? Right. Car route, it is all done, complete. Uh, there is nothing, there are no dangling participles here. Uh, you know, just to give you a data point here, uh, 20% of our people are new and hired during the COVID year. Uh, we have launched several investments, both in the factory environment, as well as in the customer interface and the customer training environment. So you will see a lot more announcements coming out from us as some of those things become public now. The other agenda, which I kind of put it under this broad umbrella of ease of doing business, uh, I think the ease of doing business part of it is, it's something that never ends, but I think it, for us, it was more an issue of bringing it all up to speed. So we went in to the deep end on the local inventory, as well as the 24 to 48 hour delivery. And I think we are in there and beginning to perform on that. We also invested in lots of tools on the agent autonomy side of it. So allow them to have full information and make quick decisions on our behalf. And then we invested significantly into the digital tools piece, uh, which is where I think our distribution partners are beginning to find us a lot more easier company to do business with. And then the last one was product portfolio, and we can talk more about that. Well, this acquisition, excuse me, this acquisition sure helps with your product portfolio. It absolutely does. You know, we, G as an acquisition was primarily a commercial. Uh, product line is what it was. Uh, I think we needed to beef up our portfolio on the pro line, 
uh, stuff. And I think we are pretty much there uh, next two quarters. And I think that range will be completely complete. Uh, but this, uh, the forum lighting acquisition really is, it's something that you and I talked about Randy earlier. Our intent is to be a focused lighting and controls company. And within that, I cannot leave the architectural piece aside. So the forum acquisition is our first step with a serious intent towards the architectural community. Okay, and let's talk about that. Uh, and first of all, congratulations. And please know we had no idea this was coming. We pride ourselves in knowing <laughs> what's coming down the. We did not know until uh, Jim gave me a call this morning. So great job on on keeping that under wraps. Well, uh, it's good to get one over you, there, Andy. Well, it happened very often, but I'm glad that we managed to do this. Yes, no doubt. So with architectural lighting, uh, you will keep their reps. You'll keep a separate rep network. How did how will yes. that work? I think I think. Uh, Listen, first of all, there already is a serious, uh, significant amount of rep commonality between the two companies. Okay. There are certain specialized reps which have done a phenomenal work for forum lighting over the years. So I think there is a process to go through here, but our agency base and the forum agency base at this point of time remains independent of each other. And frankly on that, forum remains a separate legal entity and a separate operating unit of GE current identity company. Okay, well, uh, in my opinion, that's really smart because Forum has those reps that are uh, experienced with that architectural market and with those lighting designers. And I think that is, uh, is, a, is a very smart play. Now, can you talk about further acquisitions? Further acquisitions are, all I can say on that is, there is more to come. Uh, you know, so if you step back, when we did the carve out, one of the big things about this was we need to have a management team and an investor who were completely vested into the lighting industry. We are there now. We run a stable, cash positive, good balance sheet business. Architectural is the next frontier for us. Maybe a few more uh, and time will tell. <laughs> 